For over 40 officers in the National Police Service to have been massacred is unfathomable. And unraveling the puzzle behind it remains no easy feat. And so these two warring communities resort to blame game, one that deepens with each salvo that is fired from either side. <laughs> As legislators from three constituencies in Turkana come out with a self-defense card saying the attacks were anticipated and retaliatory or otherwise the deadly fire exchange was inevitable. Never mind the officers that got stuck in the middle of it and lost their lives in the line of duty. But to come to surround the Manyat at night and you want just to shoot everybody like that? The, the Trukanas decided to wait for them to save these women and children. Let, let, let's face the facts. Their argument that cattle rustling is not a new occurrence in the region. Their faces tell of an angry aftermath to a premeditated attack on one of the villages in Baragoy, one that no harder could take sitting down. And so, according to Labour Minister John Munez, they did what had to be done. And the first people confronting them are warriors. Samburu warriors in their address and the Tuganas will see them coming. What do you do? You face them. And then all of a sudden, in the course of the fighting, you see the police and you're all fighting. Nobody knows. It's now my life. Everybody goes for, for himself. Yet on the flip side, a section of Samburu residents and professionals pointing an accusing finger at the Turkana instead. They say they have lived with the Turkana for long but accuse them of being the root cause of the problem in the county. Taking issue with lawyer Ekuru Aukot who spoke on the Turkana vote being seen as a threat to those wishing to dominate the political representation of Samburu County. Dr. Akuru Aukot should be remorseful of the families who lost their loved ones, their loved ones, and should not should stop peddling lies that the people who are killed are some uh, who are who are just who are uh, put into uniforms and not the, and, and not police officers. That is very wrong of him. And in comes the question centered around Samburu nominated MP Mason Leshomo, who is alleged to have used her alleged, quote, state house connections to force the hand of Rift Valley PPO John Mbijue into lodging a police pursuit after claims of up to 400 stolen heads of cattle. But the officers deployed went in ill prepared. The results deadly. Wale anataka kucheki simu yangu sina hata namba ya BPO mimi mwenyewe. Mimi sifanyi wapi? Na sina hiyo nguvu ya ya kuamrisha serikali nimetoa wapi? The blame game setting the stage for divided opinion on military action in Baragoy. The only message that we are hearing from government is that the Trugana are the children of Alessa God. That this government is prejudiced, is discriminatory against a particular community. And I want to tell him candidly, let him not retire in a worse off state after failing us for those many years by instituting an operation that is partisan. Because this will be the worst legacy he is going to leave this country with. And as the blame game continues, the security remains a major challenge for the local people, a situation that begs for urgent attention. Jackie Maribe, Citizen Live at 9.